MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Grant, like many manufacturers, I'm very familiar with Trump and the machine tools that they can supply, laser cutting technology, punch presses, etc. This is something different, power tools. Tell me about them. Well, Trump's history really starts with power tools and then all of the technology that you see, the lasers, the punching equipment, is all founded on basically the profits and the business that was generated from power tools. So this is where it all started? This is where it all started, yeah. And, and how many power tools are there within the range approximately? Just over 60 and we do them in the, both voltages, so the UK 110 volt. Okay, and uh, I know we've got beveling. What, what other processes of power tools do you have? Well, Trump's real focus is obviously sheet metal and metal processing, but we also offer tools now for the building and construction industry. Uh, cladding and facades are becoming very, very important for CO2, etc. Uh, and we've got a composite panel saw which will cut through wood, steel and, and also the insulation which is found inside these products. Okay, because we're going to see you doing a presentation in a minute which we will be able to view. Um, but You've mentioned the sort of markets this goes. It is slightly different to your metal cutting then, isn't it? Is, is there a market for you in this? Yeah, I mean, if you look around, if you're just driving along the motorway these days, you'll see the uh, industrial estates going up and all of it is clad uh, in this insulated material so that they can get a good heat inside the building. So it's big. And so why would they opt for the Trump product? Because basically the alternative to, to doing it um, in a different method or process is hand-on vibration is very relevant today and those processes are extremely high on the vibration level and you can in some cases only use that tool for seven minutes where our tool you could use for half a day. Okay, so that you can use it for a lot longer which means it's more productive. So what about the finish? Is there a benefit to, the, to what this product can deliver on that as well? Yeah, I mean, especially considering it's the outside of your building, uh, we can cut the painted surface completely clean uh, where our competitors' products uh, would leave the surface uh, left in a, I wouldn't say, an acceptable state. Um, and what would you class as the market consumption for a product like this in the UK? At the moment, this product is very not well known. So uh, we are really trying to develop this product and we really need to target the roofing and cladding industry with us. And that's going to be done through your distribution channels? Yes, it will be. And also this year we're going to be attending the Tool Fair exhibitions. There's five shows throughout the country where we will be showcasing this product. So when you're trying to demonstrate this on a loose piece of material, it's essential that it's clamped down properly. And as you can see, I'm also using the, the rail system uh, this will fit on the Makita, the Festool, not the Mafel rail system. So you can use other rail systems essentially with this. The principle of the rail is when you're cutting by hand, you're slightly jiggling all over the place. When you use a rail, it's straight. So what I'm going to do is I'll plunge into the steel material. This tool, don't force it. Let the tool do the work. So just take your time. And then we're going to cut through this timber section and then I'll, I'll finish it off. So. painted surface just needs a rub down paint is not distorted it's a perfect cut even through the timber okay there's always going to be an element of dust unfortunately we cannot remove that fully but uh, 
Yeah, it's the fastest process for doing it uh, and the lowest vibration level for current processes available.